Think he's up, very huh? tanky. 680. What's his strength gain? And PMS, yeah. Actually, his base strength's really high. 24 is very high. Instead, they're going to make their move on No Tail, who has not skilled anything out. He takes the soul assumption here. He's going to try to duke it out. Instantly melts. Ooh. Easy first blood for EG. This is pre sun strength, mind you, as they go for a follow up kill. Arrow connecting on fly. The tri lane crumbling for OG. Before you blink, they've already lost two. Very smart to go on no tail or actually aggressively tri lane to Visage. Visage, especially a carry one, is only tanky when you get like three points into Cloak. He has zero base armor. He has created him a couple of times. Trying to set up here on Jax. Barrel Strike comes through. Arrow now. But it's a fairly close range arrow. They've got the brain set coming through as well. Good auto attack damage done as EG. Chase down Jax. They will be able to get the kill. RTZ trying to leap away. No tail can't find him. And now he's in danger. A follow up burrow strike comes in. The brain set still on cooldown, but it won't matter. Four deaths. It might be a fifth. Diving fly would be risky, though. Might tank some tower shots. EG going to back out. Perhaps eye is overextended. This could salvage the lane. Has the stick. Pops it now. Burrow's out. Still alive. They need this long range torrent in five seconds to have a chance, but. Not going to chase for it, so Zai makes it out. A clean 4-0 start to this try lane. More and more Orb of Venom coming out from the range. Just really good mid player. You kind of oh, crit. need that edge, Ballsy right? maneuver here. He's going to try to set up. RTZ coming in from Ooh, the nice trees. Block. The arrow, though, tanked by Jerax. Now Zai on the run. The root comes through. The torrent. X and him back in, pulling the scorpion into a bad position, and now OG chase him out, but Zai makes it away, no tail's gonna go down again, OG! Just hemorrhaging kills up top, he did finally get that point in Gravekeepers, but still, the damage is done, Aquila's up on Arteezy, Sticks up on the supports here for EG, this yeah. tri lane is rolling. They, they needed to just swap immediately. Like, this Visage just can't. As Jerax comes out right around the time when Zai moves in, Sumail can turn, just cold snap him perhaps, and then follow up with the Burrow Strike. Ana's moving into position. Now the Burrow comes through. It's only what? the Storm, but the follow-up damage is there in spades. EG shred him, and now the sleep set up on Jerax going for round two. Even Arteezy arrives for this casual quad lane from o EG, and OG are no match. There were like four creeps next to that Storm, and that arrow just, it was the truth. You know, right on target. Value now. They're going to try to ball up. in. Moving on to Sumail. He still had the range drops, though. Couple stick charges available. Going to deploy that meteor. Running back in. But Ana has the damage. Gets the kill. Forces out the universe TP, which will not be fortuitous. And now EG on the chase towards Fly. They get the burrow. Arrow coming in. Fly not able to dodge it. Drills him. Oracle now with the brain set. Down he goes. They are trying to trade here, though. s 4s turn to rotate in. Only finds one here with the stun, but it is good enough for a counter kill. Not chasing on the crit as well. He's got a mango if he wants to chew it up. Arteezy trying to man up on no tail. Now we'll think he better of it. Does have those stick charges. And the universe is just ulted for mid lane, and they were able to get a kill on Ana, who was very, very low on mana after that jump in for the kill. Jerex. Tanking some damage here. Sumail also was tanking some nukes from Fly, and Universe just muscles Jerex down. So, I mean, it, it definitely looked like Ana could just walk away, but I guess he stuck around too long mid and got punished. Universe got the regen rune pressuring Ana a little bit more. He's this Brewmaster's feeling peppy. Oh. <laughs> sixty-four percent attack speed. Can That's you no laughing matter, Lumi. Can you disarm? Uh, with the Oracle onto the Earth Panda? I don't think you can, right? Because Earth Panda has that thing that protects it. Called Magic Mirror. Jerax <laughs> getting caught by the Burrow Strike here. Sunstrike comes through. One more auto attack. Gets it done with the Caustic. Oh, towers. They want to trade. This bottom tower only just now starting to take damage. Meanwhile, top has already been, or sorry, mid has already been taken out by EG with the DD rune. And however, Arteezy's overstayed his welcome top, and OG are there to punish him. Nice pick off. Ana getting the job done. Zai moving in. He wants to try and interrupt this tower. Denai does get the Burrow Strike into a Sunstrike combo, but Ana's still tanking up to withstand this. He balls to the left towards the side shop. No he just teleport scroll, in. though. He's in trouble. Or maybe Zai's in oh. trouble. Gets the Burrow. Barely lives. Not sure that one ball lightning's going to be far enough. He goes for it deep and cold snap. It erupts in mid auto attack. Gets fogged. Won't be able to get the kill. Instead, Ana's got to run. Very, very low. Sunstrike. Sunstrike coming up in just a moment. Oh. Expecting Ana maybe to ball to the right, but Ana doesn't have the mana. So instead, he'll just pedestrian style storm, hoof it up to the high ground. That would be a hell of a mind game, Sunstrike, if he landed that one. Meanwhile, No Tail is also quite significantly. He had his damage talent move from 25 to 10. Setting up on Mr. Arteezy. Lobs out the arrow. It does hit the familiar here. Might 
Interrupt the chain stun indeed. Universe is on the case now. Jerk's trying to TP away. No tail. Still getting hounded here by Universe with those auto tanks. Zai drops low to the familiars. Will go pop to fly, however. Flies in pretty deep. Goes for the TP out. Crit is there with the grip. Oh. No escape. And the Sunstrike kill Netsumail another. He just resummoned those birds, so if EG could get these birds kill. Two minutes without him. Just about. Over the tree line. Or maybe they'll all just be ninja birds. We did go back for the Midas, completes it, walks into the sentry though, and now with an arrow just barely missing him, he might have a chance to turn this around. The boat's coming in, could connect on two, it's a whopper of a boat, but no follow-up, they lose S4. Meanwhile on the top side, Zai just chilling, maybe looking to set up an Ana, simultaneously fly, has been scouted here by that Radiant Obs in the bottom lane. Arteezy on the chase, he's got the phase boots, the drum charge, gets into position, leaping forward, and going to hound fly with auto attacks. Tries to turn this around with some purifying flames. Ultimate counterplay, but I'm not sure it'll be enough. The sun strike probably eventually will pop. It was not luck, but Even if their Aegis doesn't get used, if they just farm safely with it, it's fine. It is Why is it always Arteezy? Up. Poor fella gets hit by the Vendetta, then the follow-up stun. Another blood stun charge for Agent Ana. Universe comes in too late to punish, though. Even Zai TP into the shrine. But... He also lost full gold from both of those deaths. That's very, very painful as a one when you can't... It's a bit of a wind-up. I think the best way is to... Gank Arteezy. That is the dream way. But he's not dead yet. Oh, no. There you go. Sunstrike coming through. Zai with the pearl. Brings on it down to about half. Lops out the tornado. tornado. Is going to find the storm, but... Do they have to follow up? They want those birds coming back in. Ana still fairly healthy here with 15 bloodstone charges. Continues pursuit. They cannot let Ana get out of control. That's going to be 16. Now the boat, the torrent crashing in. Good control from OG as they search for more. They've isolated Sumail. No more Aegis available on the run. Won't make it out. Ana up to 17. A tower as well. A flurry. No, more like a deluge of gold and experience pouring into the OG coffers as the green dream rises. All right. Again, gets into position. He's going to X Universe, drag him back. He won't get off the split just yet. They lock him down with the torrent. The boat crashes in. Still controlling the Brewmaster, but the counter initiation from the Sand King oh might be God. enough. No, Universe is down, and Ana is raging up onto the high ground. He's got a Lincoln Sphere complete. Still 18 charges, healthy and confident. No tail moves in as well. Stays alive through it all. S4 chasing forward. EG on their heels, but Zai comes in. The dagger from the rear. The Scorpion punishes OG. Gives them a taste of the burrow strike and nets them three kills. Force out the buyback there as well. Universe also bought back. Yep. They're in. They still have Brule. Time to siege. The boat is down for 15. There's a bit of a window here. That Alacrity Earth Panda will get to work. Structures are melting. Birds. Why not the Earth Panda? Why the wind? One down. More to follow. Bears are the natural enemy of building, whether it's a spirit bear, a pulverizing. Earth spirit aspect of a brewmaster. It doesn't seem to matter. EG, take those structures down. The brew, the storm force to... Oh, no, he didn't get off the bloodstone deny. Actually, we'll just get picked off by Mr. Money. He is up in eight if they want to try and pick off any stragglers from the TP on the shrine. EG, but no, stay her out. Yeah, there's still a couple of people. G they have OG. actually scouted out. The familiars are scouting, are pushing out the lanes. They're not going to be able to see this in time. Uh, but they do jump here onto Zai. The X pulls the storm back towards safety. The Rose drops low. In come the familiars. Stuns need to be timed right. One, two, make it three. Now the impale, the boat as well. The Roche will fall. Ana grabs it as well as the kill. Comeback time for OG. They move into the pit. Zai's on the run just like that. Sumail also in danger in S4, chasing forward, storm diving up the cliff, hasn't finished him off just yet, they're going to tap that shrine, continue to retreat, Arteezy gives his buddy the Lincolns and they will back away, now Crit left to try and salvage this fight, the Brewmaster controlled for now as he will be forced on his heels, Crit manning up, battle bane in your face, but not for long, Gonna gets Bloodstone charge, has the cheese still, a big theft for OG, they didn't really lose anything else either, top lane, not, no range racks taken down, so Ana also steal. stole both the Aegis and the Cheese. Yeah. Disaster. But Brewmaster can't, also can't skip his BKB. So the, oh, oh, you mentioned off. the evasion. No longer an issue with the Bloodthorn complete. In comes Ana. Head full of steam and looking for the Bane. He takes him out again. Another charge for him as he moves on to Arteezy, locking him in position. Can ball oh. it a bit deeper, but the Tornado actually catching him and trying to salvage this fight. Sumail keeping Ana alive, or uh, Arteezy alive at least for now, but still Ana cheesing up. 
Going for round number two. Familiar stuns with the Brewmaster split. All Dookie now in the midst of the chaos, but the Deputy Blast locks him in position. Ana may actually go down here. He balls to the right, tries to make it out. Good save by the Oracle. The Epicenter quite off the mark. Zayat the tail end, though, will net himself a kill on the Kunkka. S4 hanging on as well. Did Carapace, they can play around this, but Ana healthy up on the high ground with the Haster, and he keeps on chasing. No tail flanky for the rear. They've got a fresh Orchid here. All evasion removed. They'll take down oh Universe. They look for more. Sumail, though, still in this fight. Stay, staying around somehow, some way. But now they converge. They'll take him out to OG, rolling over EG. And now up to 20 Bloodstone charges on Ana. Marana's not doing anything in yep. these fights. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she just runs. Not even 10 minutes, like two minutes. <laughs> They're not even yeah, active yet. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Big jump forward once again. Ana with the commitment. Wants a piece of Zai. And the Swede has been slain. Now jumping away. Resetting as Arteezy. Tries to threaten here. S4 is going to carapace uh. that. Ana's going to go a deeper. Uh. That's another free kill, I believe, for Senor Storm. Indeed, he'll get it. Now Crit has his ultimate canceled wow. out by Jerax. And a clean five-man wipeout as EG are in shambles. A game that was in their grasp has slipped away. It's OG with all the momentum, out of control. The Storm up to 23 Bloodstone charges and keeps on rising. He's gained a total of 17 this game, including the ones he lost earlier. Now BKB complete, almost fully slotted out. Rax are going to start dropping. Sunstrike won't connect here on S4. EG, very uphill climb to get back in this game. The Lincolns has been so useless on Marana. Like, and she's just spent like 15 minutes farming it. I think the idea of Lincoln's is good. Yep. It's just that it, it was so delayed, and then you e OG got the cheap items I could like break it. Ana just keeps on sieging, poking away at this melee. Rax will grab it too, and OG find themselves one step closer to a game one victory. And try to break the smoke. He did it. EG though, with the Moonlight Shadow, still could keep on charging in. Double gems, by oh, the way. They did steal rep. a gem in the last fight. Jerax as well as S4 holding them. So lots of ways to see this thing coming. Sumail gets a two here. Tornado start up. BKB pop. Ana chasing that Marana, but needs to come back and help the bulwark of the team. Oh. Turning for the Sand King, trying to lock him down. He can't fit himself. Zai, Bane down. Kunkka down, but here come the buybacks. The Shrine's still in play, and that makes the difference here for OG. Sumail's BKB expended. Now on the run. The Yule Scepter committed. And comes Zai looking for the Epi. It's a pretty good one, but OG... Too tanky, they resist the damage. Universe has to get at the hell out of there, but that slow, clunky Earth Spirit ain't going anywhere. Continues retreating, but the Aspect won't be enough to get him to safety, even through the blink. Familiars keep on pounding him, and Ana ends it with the triple kill, annihilated. What a small thing this game. Most notably, RTZ not being able to contribute damage-wise. I'd be very surprised if his damage was like top four. Uh, and then that Roche steal 